Today, we're gonna to show you how to brew with this thing, the Avid Clever. The Avid Clever is a really great brewing device because not only is it really simple to use, but the final product ends up having the characteristics a little bit like a French press, but also the cleanliness that you would expect from a V60 or a pour over. All right, so let's get started. You're gonna need a mug, the Avid Clever, filters, number four, a scale and a timer, 20 grams of freshly roasted coffee, like these anchored beans we featured in the September issue of the Roasters Pack, a kettle, and a foam finger. Uh, some say the foam finger is optional. Uh, we say it's actually quite essential. Step number one, boil the water. You want the water to be around 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 30 to 45 seconds off boil. So while you're waiting, wet the filter and heat up the clever and mug. Wetting the filter will get rid of any paper taste it might have. And as you can see, the water drips right through the clever since it's on top of the mug. So don't forget to empty out that mug. Step number four, grind the coffee. You want it to be somewhere between fine and medium coarseness, a lot like you would actually use for a V60. Here's a loony for comparison. Add the grinds to the clever and start your timer. You wanna pour in 40 grams of water so that the grounds are saturated evenly. Wait 30 seconds. This part is known as the bloom where it allows for the degassing of the CO2 from the coffee. If your coffee is fresh, you should see the coffee growing and expanding a little bit like a blooming flower. Dark roasts tend to do this more than light roasts just because of the extra CO2 from the longer roast. Step number five, pour in the rest of the water in a slow circular motion. Stop pouring once you have reached a total of 320 grams of water. Step number six, put on the lid and wait until the three minute mark. The lid helps keep all the heat in so you're maintaining an even extraction rate as the water temperature isn't gonna drop significantly. Step number 6B, Instagram the heck out of your brew. Brewing coffee is actually a lot like philosophy. Think about this, if a tree falls in the forest and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Same with coffee. I mean, if you don't Instagram your brew, did it actually happen? Hmm? Anyway, if you're not a fan of our philosophical thoughts, there's also the prospect of winning something pretty sweet. Today we actually just mailed out a really cool anchored mug, this one here, to someone who Instagrammed their brew and tagged us in it. And a few weeks ago, we mailed out a really delicious bag of Detour Coffee, this one here, to someone who tagged us in their Instagram post. Or maybe you'll just make it into our next video, like these folks here. Anyway, once the three minute mark hits, place the clever on the mug so the coffee starts dripping through the filter. The coffee should drip through within about one to one and a half minutes. Once it's done, enjoy. You've just made a stellar cup of coffee. Some things to note though, every coffee is different. So if you're finding your brew is a little bit more bitter than you wanted it to be, it could have to do with your water temperature being too high, your grind being too fine, or your brew time being too long. And in comparison, if you're finding it to be too sour, your water temperature could not be hot enough, your grind could be too coarse, or your brew time could be too short. So as always, experiment, experiment, experiment with your brew to dial it in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. We try to put out interesting content quite regularly, like these three videos below. My name is Sunil from The Roasters Pack, a Canadian coffee subscription service that features three great coffees from three craft roasters every month. Cheers.